Hey traders, in this week's video, I will talk about how to execute harmonic pattern setups the correct way. I'm sure many of you guys you know, are curious about harmonic patterns. Uh, you probably downloaded some books, you know, uh, try to learn online. But I realize most people are very confused about how to execute the setups when it reaches the PRZ, which is the potential reversal zone. So this week's video, a lot of the focus will be how I executed my trade setups that happened last week. I will also be previewing a few setups that's gonna happen next week. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So to teach you guys the right way to execute the trade setups, uh, I will start off by reviewing some of the setups that uh, finally completed last week. So the team last week was really the dollar reversal. Yeah, so dollar has been down for a few weeks and uh, last week we were predicting the turn. Yep. So the first trade I want to talk about was on a uh, euro dollar. So back when I posted this trade idea 13 days ago, euro dollar was at 1.0665 and I predicted that once it reaches around 1.08, this will be a zone for reversal. So what happened eventually? Bam! Now it's still right there. Let me zoom it in. Yep. So how do we execute the trade when the PRZ, you know, the price completes and touches the full range of the PRZ? This is what we call a terminal bar. So more often than not, you know, price should close back within the PRZ zone by seven candles. Yep. So in this case, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. By the sixth candle, the price has closed into the zone. It tells me that the market respects this zone. Yep. So there's two ways of execution. Uh, one way is to queue for a retest back at the highs. So you could have entered around 1.0815. The second way is to wait for the price to close below the PRZ, which is at around 1.0772. Then you queue for a retest at, into the zone at 1.0785 to 90. This is where you enter. Yeah. So the pros and cons, you know, if you entered on the first way, you know, uh, it's a low, it's a better risk to reward. But there's a chance that the price will not retest and you will have missed out on the trade. Uh, the second way, you know, uh, you are entering at a worse price, but no matter what, it's still very good risk to reward. And uh, you are actually entering with a higher probability of success. So as you can see on Friday's close, the price trying to go up one more time. It looks like it's still resisted by this zone here. So on Monday morning, you can consider entering right at the open. Stop loss will just have to go above 1.0825. I will personally put it at 1.0840. Yep. So profit target, we will still aim for a good run to 1.0520. Yep. Later on, when I go through the new setups on a dollar, you will realize uh, why I'm pretty confident about this setup. Yep. Okay. So uh, second setup that I talk about is on Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, bearish berry shark. And uh, it went up. Okay, so let me zoom in. Yep. So based on what you learned from my earlier example on Euro, which is the bar that you will enter? This is a terminal bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the six bar, it has closed below the zone. And uh, this 0 0.7706 level is where you should have entered. Alternatively, you should you can queue for a retest up in the highs here. So you could have queued in and uh, entered around 0 0.7740. And for this setup, it's very, very smooth. Based on the shark pattern, the TP1 has already been reached at 0 0.7620. How to derive this? This is the CD leg 50% retracement. Yeah. So next week, uh, I'm hoping that uh, Aussie continues falling. Uh, the second profit target is at 0 0.7520. However, I will not be surprised you know, if it goes up from here. All you need to do is to draw a trend line from this high to this low here. I mean, I mean connect the highs and the highs. So if this trend line is being violated upwards, you know, I'll get out, you know, there will be no more position on the Aussie. I'm actually pretty bullish on commodities next week and a bearish on the risk currencies. Yep. Okay, third set I want to talk about is on the dollar yen. Dollar yen, uh, this is a bullish shark pattern. So let's check out what happened eventually after I posted this idea. Okay, check this out. So this is why it's always important to learn the right way to execute harmonic trade setups. For this setup, you can see that the price after completing the PRZ, you know, it did not stall around here. It did not reverse within the next five to seven candles. So this tells me that the uh, PRZ is not being respected and there's no trade on this setup 
at all. Yeah. So this is how you avoid losing trades in harmonic trading. Yeah. But next week, uh, I will not be surprised. You no, know, if price closes above the PRZ once again, you know, I can see dollar yen rallying upwards. There could be news of intervention again. I read some of the news uh, earlier this week. Yeah. So uh, if the price is resisted by the PRZ, then you know that uh, dollar yen should continue lower. But I guess the chances of it going higher is much, you know, higher than uh, it becomes now. Yeah. Right. Last but not least, I want to talk about the pound dollar. Okay, this is the pound dollar. Uh, I predicted that it will come up to this resistance here before dropping. So let's see what's happened. Okay. So right here, you see, it tried to do a breakout. It looks like it has failed. Right now, you know, uh, it looks resisted by this trend line. And uh, this is not a harmonic setup, so there's no PRZ or, you know, a T plus 1, T plus 5 to look out for. So what I'm expecting is that dollar will strengthen next week, pound will drop. And if it comes all the way to 1.2055, this zone around here, I will be interested to go long on the bullish shark pattern that I initially dropped. Yep. So this is how I'm going to trade the pound dollar next week. Okay, enough of review. I want to talk about uh, four setups that could happen next week. The first one is on dollar Swiss. Yeah. So uh, last week, uh, when Euro dollar completed the bearish shark, dollar Swiss actually completed the bullish shark. So what it says is that uh, these two currency pairs are pretty correlated. I'm not sure if it's hundred percent, but it's close to hundred percent. Yeah. So when I spotted this pattern, you know, price has already reversed from the PRZ about fifty pips, forty to fifty pips. Yeah. So I was telling my subscribers that uh, I will not be chasing after the highs, I will wait for a retest and I want to see price stabilize at the 99 level before I enter long so what happened eventually on Friday's close, you know, let me zoom in you can actually see that price has respected this PRZ and this could be a low risk buy at the open next week this is the stop loss and the profit target so dollar is slightly to rebound and uh, we will see the effectiveness and the magical power of harmonic pattern yeah. okay uh, next one is also on dollar this time around is on the dollar index which is the most accurate way to measure the strength of the dollar against a basket of our other currencies yeah so for the dollar index same pattern touch the PRZ twice and I expect the dollar to strengthen minimally to 190 100.90 stop loss and TP is all here so we'll see what happens next week you know price has rejected I see the bullish candle I like it I see bullish divergence on the RSI so everything's aligning aligning nicely but take note about your risk control you know do not be risking 2% on dollar Swiss and 2% on dollar index that's like double the risk on one single currency pair choose one and execute you know trade risk not more than 2% on your dollar trade yep okay third one is on a euro cat Eurocat has completed the bearish butterfly pattern then uh, you know it, it came down to the profit target one it went back up again so right now uh, what I see is a potential type 2 entry on the Eurocat so next week uh, I'll be zooming in to see if there's any you know uh, lower time frame break below of a support or a pullback into the zone here for me to go short around 40, 40, 44.60 and 144.70 yeah, if you push back into this zone, I see a nice you know, rejection pin bar. I see some form of divergence, I will be going short. Yeah. So be patient and wait for some retest before going short. Last but not least is on uh, Pound Kiwi. Uh, Pound Kiwi, okay, let me zoom in out. It has completed a bearish uh, bad pattern and uh, it has moved quite a little bit from the PRZ. So next week, uh, I hope for a last final pullback into the zone. 1.7820 to 40 yeah this is the zone that i want to be entering my shot at and uh i hope it does one final retest but if not you know uh the risk to reward is still pretty good you can consider it but personally i will only be shorting when it gets close to 1.7780 to 90 yeah that's the my minimal expectation i will not be shorting right at the open that's about 50 pips away from my desired entry level yeah, uh, take note for pound kiwi is super volatile so the stop loss and the profit targets will be pretty big stop loss is about 160 pips the profit target is about 370 pips if you cannot you know uh, stomach this kind of big swings uh, this is probably not a trade for you 
Yeah, but uh, if you do a proper position sizing, you know, even setups like this, you can actually limit the risk to about 2% per trade and you could be into the trade with us, with me. Yep. So I'm done with uh, this week's uh, analysis. Uh, last but not least, before I finish it, uh, I want to share with you guys, you know, uh, a, a new software. It's not really new. It has been released uh, since last year around March. So it has been about one year old. So it has gone through about six or seven rounds of revision. This is a pattern scanner that's created by Scott Carney. So uh, you can actually try a free account, you know, click it and test it out for 10 days. In the event that uh, you try it out and you love this software, uh, what I have done is that I have embedded a form in the description box below. So if you would like, if you would like to receive some promotions and promotion coupons on this software, uh, register your interest by filling up the form. After you register the interest, I will get the formation seeker guys to contact you to tell you on the promotion that you can receive. Yeah. A good software, uh, probably good for beginners, uh, especially those who have trouble spotting patterns. Yep. So do check it out and uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great trading week. Very excited. Goodbye.